Twig Volume 1 is about as manly as... Twig, Volume 1, published by Image Comics, written by Scotty Young with art and designs by Kyle Strom. Colors by Jean-Francois Belliot, and lettering, logo, and series design by Nate Picos of Blambot. Twig is a story of a young placeling named Twig, as he's thrust into a position of critical importance when his father, the veteran placeling, unexpectedly dies. Accompanying Twig is his amorphous sidekick Splat, who's to help Twig along his journey. That journey being the final placing. Is it good? No one can decide that for you, but you. But is it manly? Let's get into it. Twig has decent masculine role modeling. Not necessarily from Twig himself for the bulk of the story, as this is a story of his coming into his manhood role, but both Splat and a found friend named Lobie Teach Twig the values of accountability, heart, and self-sacrifice in the name of the greater good. That's not to say Twig is a bad masculine model, but we're seeing his coming of age tale, so he can't be blamed for coming up a little short early on. If the score was based on Lobie alone, it'd be a four out of three, because Lobie has the heart, the horn, and the humanity that we should all hope to achieve one day. A classic orphan superhero. Since we have three fellas to average a score out, overall score for Twig, Splat, and their companion, Lobie, is a two out of three. Twig and Splat are doers, through and through. The first obstacle that's thrust upon them threatens to derail the entire placing. The Patsayer, who's to use an ancient machine to guide Twig's path to the placing location, is found dead. Does that slow Twig down? No way. He has the skills of a chef and the foolhardy spirit of my stepdaughter after watching Top Chef. So he and Splat just go for it. Little this, dash of that, and Twig straps into the ancient machine to witness his own destiny. His destiny gets derailed yet again when his improvised use of the machine causes the placing gem to crack and die, which forces Twig to redirect his journey to the Nectarmancer for a gem repair. Then another complication and another improvised solution. Then another. The point is, the boys keep moving, using the best recollection of the best information they have to push forward, regardless of the chases, near misses, tight escapes, and inevitable explosions in their future. Because they know that their failure would set up a string of future failures, and that is unacceptable. Regarding the agency of Twig and Splat, three out of three. The narrative values of Twig Volume 1 are fantastic. Scotty Young recognizes Twig's shortcoming and gives real consequences to them while also encouraging Twig to exercise proper values and rewarding proper actions. Early on, while Twig is still immature, he sleeps in and begins his journey late, and every authority figure along the way holds his feet to the fire, reminding him that if he had started on time, he wouldn't be behind schedule. He doesn't get to slide on his mistake, so he never makes the same mistake again. This is the level of accountability we need from our boys. Good on you, Scotty. The one place where Twig Volume 1 falls short is the final test, which doesn't exactly stick the masculinity landing. The final lesson ends up being that whatever your song, it is the correct one, which is silliness. Your song, which I read as your feelings, are correct or honorable or useful just by virtue of being your own. That's feminine on a level with the phrase, my truth. In the same way that you don't get your own special truth, you don't get credit for being correct just because you feel a certain way. Your feelings are correct, honorable, useful, when the actions taken based on those feelings yield positive results. But I'm so in love with the rest of the messaging that I don't even care. The final cherry on top of it all is learning that Twig isn't even the hero of the story. His job as a placeling is to make sure the gem is where it needs to be so that the true hero can find it there and use the gem to complete his quest. Absolutely epic. 
As soon as we all realize that we are but a part of the whole, we can truly reach our full potential. When others may benefit from our efforts and push our intentions further than we ever would have been capable of on our own. Narrative values. Three out of three. The final word. Twig is an adorable, positive, masculine delight. From the beautiful, colorful world to the lovable characters, and with a total measurement of eight, Twig Volume 1 is for a maximum man. Twig Volume 1 is about as manly as waking up at 6 a.m. to pour a concrete foundation with a crew of colorful nobodies, not because it'll make you rich or even be appreciated, but because a properly placed and steel reinforced slab is the foundation of the infrastructure that allows future heroes to improve the world for generations to come. And that is Maximum Man. Life before I vow to take if you're still watching and just want someone to tell you if it's good, it's not very manly. Be more man. However, I do have a review link for you right here. If you use it, please leave a comment telling them Steven at No Borders Comics sent you. The view in the comment helped them, the exposure helps me, and the review will help you. Everyone wins, very man. I'm compelled to renew my plans. Cause I am a lonely man and I only can do what I know to do.